in this video I am going to uh, talk about something which I am not sure if it's a bug but I detect I detected that, that by um, by some uh, mistakes so if I click on the Internet Explorer from the start screen as you can see I get the Metro browser I can add a new tab so it takes me to the Metro browser but what happened is um, now let's go to the desktop and uh, let me close this video app let me close this one and I, if I launch the Internet Explorer here as you see it also launched the uh, desktop mode browser but what happened is if I go to the default apps by searching for default apps and if I change the default apps uh, to set your default apps let's set this if I change the Internet Explorer, if I change the default browser from in, uh, Internet Explorer, if I change it to, for example, Google Chrome, because I've got Google Chrome installed, as you can see at the bottom here. So if I click on Google Chrome, it said that this program has 11 out of 18 defaults. So if I set this program to be the default, so that means the uh, that means uh, Google Chrome has now been set to the default browser on the computer. So now let's go back to the start screen and launch the Internet Explorer. So if I launch this Internet Explorer, it will not launch, as you see, it takes me to the desktop mode browser rather than the, rather than take me to the Metro browser. So I just want to call your attention to that. If you have another browser set and uh, when you launch that program that uh, that browser is going to ask you if you want to set it as the default if you click on yes you will not you will lose access to your metro browser i'm not sure why that is maybe it's a bug maybe microsoft will fix that or maybe there's a reason why they've done it like that but i don't really like that because what i want to do is i want to set the default browser on the desktop mode to be google chrome but when i'm inside the uh start screen I mean on inside the metro UI I want my browser to still be my metro browser if you get what I mean so let's uh, return back to Internet Explorer if we set this to be default now if you set Internet Explorer to be the default everything returns back to normal so let's go to the uh, start screen and click on um, browser which is going to be here Internet Explorer click on it as you see it is now okay all right let me let me actually show that uh, now we have our metro browser back no what i would do is let me let me go back quickly to the desktop and then change the default program okay default let me do it again because uh, there is something I want to show you because a lot of people will be thinking you didn't a lot of people will be thinking I did not click on the um, because people will be saying I click on this initially rather than you click on the Internet Explorer app for the Metro browser so this is what I want to prove so let's go back to our desktop and set the default program again this thing can take some time to load sometimes so we have to give it the time it needs while I okay so there you go and uh, let's set Google Chrome to be the default browser Google Chrome set to be the default and it, this program has the default now so let's go back and I will scroll to the Internet Explorer as you can see the logo actually changed as well so I know what I am talking about so if you click on it it will take you to the desktop mode browser rather than the uh, but if we change back to Internet Explorer, set this program now, let's go back to the start screen and scroll. As you can see, the logo has changed back, and now we're launching it as the Metro UI browser. So uh, pay attention to this because if you find out that you cannot launch your Metro browser anymore, it's because you have set another browser to be the default. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.